Hi, this is Doug in my Mavic Air 2, and uh, I'm putting together a rather hasty video, and I apologize for that, regarding the smart controller uh, and the Mavic Air 2. The reason I'm doing this is because I've seen several videos online about the new Air 2S and the smart controller and the stuttery video that you're getting on the screen from the smart controller and everybody has uh, commented about it and uh, several people have suggested you know that OcuSync 3 uh, isn't working well and needs to be fixed and updated and changed and what have you. Um, and uh, the Mavic Air 2 runs on OcuSync 2. So the assumption was, uh, and I haven't seen anything on the Mavic Air 2 stuttering issues, if there were any. So I went and flew uh, my drone uh, just a few minutes ago to see how my Air 2 was doing and guess what? I don't think it's OcuSync 3. I think it's just the, the newest download from uh, DJI is not doing well at all with the smart controller. Um, I've got some video I'll show you and you'll see that the Mavic Air 2 um, and the screen stuttering is significant and um, in some cases just very, very bad. And making the uh, smart controller not a good choice under the screen uh, the current circumstances. Um, unfortunately, I tried to uh, hook up my uh, standard uh, controller, and you can see when I press it, I get four uh, lights, solid lights, and then they go out, and there's no beep. And uh, that's all I'm getting. I, I can't get it to connect. I tried setting it up with my iPhone, um, and this uh, controller now is, is dead. It's been sitting, not being used for several months. Perhaps that's the issue. I tried charging it with three different chargers and four different cables and you know, all that stuff, you name it. And uh, it looks good when the lights come on and you're thinking, yeah, you're ready to go, but there's no beeping. And then the lights quickly go out and no connection is ever made. So I couldn't use my, uh, my regular controller to sort of do some comparison tests. All I've got is just the flights you'll see from this one. And uh, take a look, see what you think. Well, here's a shot of my screen showing the uh, current firmware update and all the other uh, updates that I have my uh, smart controller. Uh, it's uh, as current as you can get as far as, uh, as far as I know. So we're ready to go with the latest. Uh, here's showing my battery is 98% and ready to go and uh, get the uh, fly up going. And I don't know if this is long or to be expected, but it took 16 full seconds uh, to load this uh, the fly app seemed a little long to me. Just thought I'd mention that. And we can get some uh, Adobe software if we want. Good for us. And here we're showing 100% uh, uh, battery on the uh, drone and also a good uh, RC uh, connectivity Take and satellites. So ready to go. This first clip, and I pardon the, the gimbal, sloppy gimbal work here, but uh, this first clip is from the Air 2 camera, and uh, it's relatively steady, can you, as you can see, uh, pretty smooth. I, I thought it looked good. Um, no real jitters, no special movements of any sort that I could see. And then we come to the uh, second clip. This is from the smart controller. Downloaded off the SD card and uh, look at the, the 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 jitteriness, the bumpiness, and the distance numbers are bouncing around uh, and skipping large tracks of numbers here. So this is a current theme or a theme that that follows throughout the uh, on the videos from the smart controller. This is just a simple yaw with the Air 2 camera, and there is a little little bump in here from the from the R2 right there, uh, not happy with that, but uh, it is what it is. The rest of it is nice and smooth, I think, and looks uh, look pretty good. These are in cine mode, by the way, as you can see from the upper left. This is the uh, mark controller, and this is you know just jittery and bouncy, um, not smooth. It, it's certainly flyable, I suppose, but uh, not smooth at all. And here we're going. Uh, forward with a uh, slight yaw turn at the end here to the left with the uh, footage from the camera itself a 
You can see the turn seems to be yawing with some uh, smoothness that you'd hope and expect. Now here we have the same flight, uh, same footage, I should say, but from the Smart Controller video download. And you can see it's just just skipping a little bit and just not not smooth. Uh, what can you say? This is what you're looking at. You're trying to fly a drone, and to have it skipping and uh, not being smooth is very disconcerting when you're when you've got the drone in the air. It's uh, unsettling to say the least. On the yaw turn again, I think the yaws seem to really amplify or amplify the the skipping. They really see it here, in my opinion. And then as you move forward here, again, it's just more skipping, more distance numbers just changing rapidly. And we'll finish off here with some quick riaz from the camera and then these uh, <laughs> the smart controller videos. And these yaws are absolutely horrendous. The camera is pretty smooth, all things considered. But the uh, smart controller skips chunks, big chunks. Uh, it's just totally wow. Not, not good at all. Um, very upsetting when when you're flying it, that's for sure. Go home. And look at that, just giant skips here. Okay, well, you saw the results, and uh, in some cases it was just unbearable. Uh, you know, you, you're using your controller to fly your drone, and you've got to get consistent, solid viewing of your, your flights. And um, as soon as you start to lose that, you lose confidence in your flights, you lose confidence in the drone, and uh, you just hope it's going to go where you want it to go. Again, I, I think the latest firmware update uh, that's uh, applying to the smart controller, whether it be the Air 2S or the Mavic Air 2 or who knows what else, the other drones it's uh, messed up with, is not functioning properly and needs to be corrected. Um, I checked today and there were no software updates. So uh, something, something's got to gotta give here, and I hope they uh, come up with something new, not just for the Air 2S, which is the, the hot puppy right now, but for uh, all the drones that are using the smart controller. Anyway, thanks for watching. appreciate it, and I hope this helps somebody out there.